It might come to a time where, shoot, we're not going to jump on jet airplanes, you know? But imagine going surfing in the Mentawais having sailed there from wherever it is that you live. I went to university at uh, UC Santa Cruz, got the opportunity to surf a lot of the beautiful waves in that whole area, um, everywhere from Big Sur to the north coast of Santa Cruz and the, the breaks in Santa Cruz proper. I lived there for about 10 or 12 years. After I finished at UCSC, I studied lit there. I did a graduate program in creative writing at San Francisco State. I had an opportunity to write a piece for the Surfer's Journal, and that was well received, and then um, and then they went to six issues a year and needed some editorial assistance and um, I hired on there in 2004. Between 2006 and 2008, I built my boat, an 18-foot Shetland Isle beach boat that I named the Cormoran. It's a, a classic um, Scottish Isle, Shetland Isle uh, design. And I experimented and you know, learned to, to sail that boat and learned to bring it back upright if I capsized it. And, and in heavy water, set up a, a camping situation, a little boat tent, and made sort of ever wider uh, journeys on, on this boat until finally I just I realized I really wanted to do a, a proper um, single-handed, unassisted, solo mission. I sailed for 65 days down the coast, always south down the coast of Baja, surfing all those great waves, point breaks. There's something to be said for going into the wilderness alone. You know, some of our great American writers, you know, Thoreau with Walden and John Muir, spent really valuable time, you know, by themselves. And I think that's an important thing to do. The, the quiet of a boat under sail is, is this like this true enchantment, you know? Um, the, the squeaking of the rigging, you know, the little lapping of the water and just the, the whole kind of like gentle movement of it. And for me, it's important, as impractical as it is, my boat travel, I really like the idea of not having a motor. You know, so you have to, that means you got to strategize though. It's got to be a downwind approach. If you're going to surf, say, the offshore islands from California, you know, you've just got to look at what are the factors you're dealing with. Sometimes in a little boat like mine, there's big winds out in that channel, you know, and gnarly, gnarly kind of currents pull around the islands and stuff. So you got to come into it from sort of a broad reach or, or, or even downwind. I think this old world is likely to keep limping along because, I mean, just so much gnarly shit has happened from atom bombs to holocausts to, you know, world wars. And we hear it a lot, and it's true. I think we're facing um, an environmental catastrophe, so I think it's on each of us to more than just, like, recycle our empties, to to integrate our lives, you know, in, in, in our practices, because that's the magic of being born and being a person on Earth. We, we are individuals, and when we, when we embrace and explore and discover and think about what that is and are joyful with it, that's when we inspire one another and let one's light shine. Join the party. Good to have you, you know? We're all here, so we better be kind to one another and, um, and to ourselves.